The new McHenry Library addition opened the week after spring break. The sounds of construction still abound at the site as the old McHenry building is undergoing a two-year renovation and retrofitting process. On Monday, April 14th, Margaret Gordon, the assistant to the head librarian, and Astrid von Susten, the director of library development, took City on a Hill Press on a tour of the spacious light-filled addition. They stressed the welcoming nature of the new building as a conducive learning environment, but noted that the completed library will not be ready for some time. The grand opening of the entire McHenry Library is scheduled for 2010. This is one of the most beautiful spots in the library, I think. And this is really where you can see what we see of as the, think of as the indoor, outdoor, living, learning concept yeah, in action. We've got a little rooftop zen garden here. And then these are the beautiful reading porches. You may want to take a look at our wonderful compact shelving. The whole idea is to keep as many um, books on site as possible. They actually work very, very smoothly. It doesn't take much uh -oh. um, effort. It's not electrical, so no yeah. fear of the power going out and being stuck. It's also pretty easy if you're in here and somebody's wheeling. Oh, you can you, just push? Yeah, okay. you'd have to be pretty weak. <laughs> There's going to be a wireless canopy oh. out here so the people can be online while they're outside but they're also you, you can see actual plugs outdoor plugs so this is going to be a combination of, of what we called the Merck in the old building so it's got and the film and music center mm -hmm. so it's going to have everything that really requires um, heavy-duty equipment and intervention. That's one of the few areas that is actually the way it is going to be, because that's its permanent location. So this is a very, very green building, which we're very, very proud of, and actually was one of the major reasons why we, the Kresge Foundation has given us this uh, $700,000 challenge grant. 